So this is a video with clear instructions on how to buy Dogecoins and other altcoins for Canadians. You gotta get, first of all, two apps from the App Store. Newton app, so download that app, and then also another app called Crypto.com. These are the apps that I use. There's other apps you can use as well, but this has worked well for me, and I'm gonna show you how to use this. So Crypto.com and also Newton. Each one of these apps you're going to have to use a sign-up process and there will be a referral code and referral link down below in the description of this video. Please use my referral code so you can get a bonus for each account that you sign up for. Crypto, Crypto.com has a lot of this credit card stuff they advertise. You can just skip over all of those. You don't need to sign up for their credit card. And here we are in the Newton app, which is the Canadian side app. You can buy a lot of cryptocurrencies in the app directly, but not Dogecoin. It's quite difficult to buy it in Canada. But if you go to Add Funds and then click or touch via Interac eTransfer, then you enter the amount that you want to transfer into your account. In this example, I'm going to use $10 Canadian just as an example. $10 Canadian, which actually is not a good amount. I find out later you want to do a little bit more than this, but I'll just see why later in the video. So $10 Canadian, and then you hit the green button at the bottom, and it will actually send an email to the email that you've registered. And that email inside your email will have a link. It takes a moment to send. It will have a link to uh, allow the transfer. So then you go to your email, you check your email, you'll get an email with your banking set up. Uh, you click that email will take you to your banking and you click accept request make sure it's from it's from um, it's from Newton of course it should be in a be your account uh, I blurred out my banking information here but it'll go to your banking I've sped up and blurred this out so it's gonna it's gonna take you to your um, online banking uh, app or whoever you bank with and you're just gonna fill out the prompts which account you want the money to come from and hit accept then you're going to see back in the Newton app a request. Uh, it says pending transfers, $10, $10 is pending to come through the account. A little while later, it can take a little bit of time. You should get an email that says $10 is now in your account. So the money has come through. You'll get that email. Once that's through, you can go back to your Newton account and you'll see you have $10. Then you want to go to the market side and see what you want to buy is US dollar tether. So that's not at the bottom there. US dollar tether, USDT and you hit that green arrowed button in the bottom right and you're going to enter how much US dollar tether you want to buy. Um, you want to basically trade 10 Canadian dollars, the amount that you transferred or whatever amount you did, for, I'm going to trade that for US dollar tether. If it's not US dollar USDT selected there on that green arrow, you'd select that and trade it. Then you swipe the, bot the button at the bottom and it worked. You bought US dollar tether with your Canadian um, Canadian dollars that you transferred. Then you can go back to your portfolio and see that you have $9.99 value in Canadian dollars and you have a certain amount of US dollar tether that you purchased. Then you're going to go back to crypto.com to that app and near the t you're going to click home and then near the top by trade you'll hit transfer and then tr under transfer you'll hit deposit and then crypto from other platforms. Then from there you're going to hit Tether, uh, which is ERC20 or US dollar Tether, USDT, and you're going to make sure you copy the address. So click that copy symbol so the wallet address is copied. Do not try and type this in by hand because if you get it wrong, you can send money to someone else's wallet. Then you go back to the Newton.com, or, or sorry, the Newton app, and you hit the green arrows in the bottom right corner, which is the transfer and withdrawal area. You'll hit withdraw at the top, and you're going to go hit crypto to wallet. And then where it says Bitcoin, at that arrow, you're going to click, select, select that and hit US dollar tether, which is the only uh, currency you'll have in there. Hit the max button, it's going to put in the maximum amount, and then you're going to hit paste address in the middle section. Paste address, if you click that, it will actually say Newton, pasted from crypto.com. Uh, paste it in the address you copied before, and then at the very bottom, you're going to swipe the arrow left to right. Actually, I discovered that you have to have a minimum of $10. So in my example, I can't even continue with this, but I'm still going to show you how the money would show up and you'd buy your Dogecoin on the other side. But in this case, yeah, you're basically taking your US dollar tether that you purchased and transferring that over 
to your crypto.com account which wallet address which you've copied and pasted over make sure you again copy and paste do not try and type it by hand and then finally you go back to crypto.com you go to the home page you select dogecoin on the home page and you hit buy dogecoin the big blue button um add to buy your dogecoin so i'll hit buy buy dogecoin and i don't have enough money in here in my account right now but i do have about a dollar uh, and you could enter in the amount of dogecoin you would want to buy so not 1400 but say you want to buy one dogecoin it will show you the amount of us dollar tether which i still have a little bit of in my account that i could use that to purchase it or you could use other cryptocurrencies or currencies in your account to buy it of course um, if you had transferred money over from your newton account it would now be sitting there as a balance and you could use those funds to buy as much the amount of dogecoin that you wished so that's this quick tutorial i hope this was very uh succinct and to the point again make sure you use those referral codes that will be down in the description so you can get uh, i think it's about 25 dollars on each platform uh, just by signing up as long as you at least have a certain amount of um, the deposit that you make. And if you got value of this video, please consider subscribing. Most of my channel is about helping people become better investors, helping people look for really great, amazing, what you could be all in investments and analyzing that and uh, understanding investment for, from a Canadian perspective and certain strategies for Canadians. So if all that interests you, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up really helps me out as well. Thanks for so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And remember, it's in the bag.